Hey everyone, this is Abhijit here and today I'm going to show you how to interface this thing that is a PIA motion sensor of course with an Arduino Uno board. So let's get started here. Now, of course, you all may be knowing about this PIA motion sensor. That's why you are here. This is a simple motion detecting sensor which uses the infrared rays to detect your motion. And this is just a simple theory, just a one line theory about it. If you want more information, I will give a link to the link in the description. You can check that out. So we will use this uh, and we will interface it with an Arduino Uno board right here, as you can see. And we will just prototype a project for motion detection. So first of all, I'm gonna show you about, uh, show you some connections here. So as you can see here, let me just focus it. We have three, pins here VCC out and ground so it's pretty simple I guess that like VCC is for you know uh, so for you know for VCC purposes and then we have out pin that is a digital pin so we get a load high and then there is a ground pin of course for grounding the whole circuit so we are gonna connect it to the Arduino board here so I have this red wire this is the VCC wire so let's just connect it to the vcc here for sorry for the shake camera here and as you can see i have connected it here with the vcc and then we have this second wire that is this orange wire and this is the digital wire so we will just connect it to the any digital pin here i will connect it with seven you can obviously connect it with two three four five whatever you wish it's it will obviously depend upon your code what type of pin you are defining there. I have defined seven, so I'm using the seven number pin. And lastly, we have this blue pin that is the ground pin. And of course, it will go into the ground here. So we are done here. Yeah, that was simple. So uh, now we have our connections complete here. Now the next thing to do is we have to connect the board to the, uh, you know, laptop. Or PC whatever you may be having so I have already I have already connected this side with the Arduino and now I have this USB here and I will connect it to my laptop USB port it's very difficult to you know just shoot video and do stuff all by yourself and there it is we have oh sorry connected and as you can hear it is there connected so I have this code here right here I will of course link it down in the description and I'm just gonna take some time to explain it so if you want to watch the explanation just watch it else you can skip it so it is quite clear from the image that the programming used here is a C program Arduino no embedded C and the first line defines the LED pin that is default LED, LED pin for the Arduino no, that is 13 then we define the input pin from which the PIR input would be taken that is number seven you can Keep it to two you can define it as three four five it's your wish then we uh, keep the uh, pi state to a low as uh, because we don't want to assume any motion uh, at the very beginning and then we uh, define a variable well uh, which will be reading the uh, pin status from number seven pin then we move on to the void setup function here we will first set the uh, serial uh, board rate that is 9600 then we define the led pin that is number 13 pin as the output then uh, number seven pin that is input pin as the input pin and then we will uh, start the calibration process we will keep the time uh, to 15 seconds we will use the for loop here you can keep the time to 20 seconds you can keep the time to 30 seconds up to you i kept it to 15 seconds and after the calibration is done we will print the mes message uh, that the motion sensor is active this completes the void setup function and now we'll move on to the void loop function okay so for the void loop uh, functionality we will just uh, first of all store the digital uh, input from the number seven pin into the variable defined earlier by us that is well and if the well is high we will just first of all make the number 13 led pin as high then we will check the pia state if it is low that means new motion has been detected and we will print this to the serial monitor and then set the pia state to high but if the value is low, then we will first of all change the LED pin status to low. We will turn it off and then we will check if the PIS state was high. That means that the motion which was earlier detected has ended and we will print that 
onto the serial monitor screen and set the PIS state to low. So in this way we will uh, use the motion detected and motion ended uh, messages and print them on the screen. So we are finally done with the code, right? So, but main thing here is that if this code gives us the result we want to. So we're gonna check it real time here and we're just gonna do this, we just first check for the board yes it is there and there, that is the com4 and now i'm just gonna upload it this code to the board right here but first i'm gonna do this i have this here and i will cover it with this so that we don't have any initial motion just don't sever other connection you know that would be awful and we will just upload it loading and it's done now we'll just open the serial monitor and we're gonna wait it is calibrating it will take approximately 15 seconds you can go for 20 you can go for 30 you can even go for 10 but I prefer 15 it's just easy so we're just waiting for the calibration to complete here it may not show something initially you may have to wait and when the first result will come it will come when you will do this see there motion is detected and now we are gonna stay still and there it is the motion ended I'm just gonna put it back and we can see that motion is detected and we're gonna stay still again till it is till it has ended there it is we will wait it has ended there will be no motion because it's covered so obviously there will be no notification up into up in the serial, serial monitor and then again for the last thing and we have motion detected right here it will stay there for some time and then it ended and now i put it back and it again shows that it detected a motion so that's it guys we have interfaced the pir motion sensor with the arduino uno board successfully it was a three connection project and you can easily use it for any of your school work or any of your college work or any of your major project maybe interfacing it with other sensors and I will be back with uh, more sensor videos, uh, maybe some gas sensors and fire sensors and all. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the notifications and like this video, comment on this video if you want to know anything specific to this sensor and share this video. I will see you next week with a new video about a new sensor. Till then, bye.